Jesus warned the unclean spirits not to make him know. Why? After healing the sick, you will find the Lord tells them not to make him know. Why? You may know it's called the messianic secret. The messianic secret. Those who are healed, they may have a wrong impression about God. Those who watch the miracles happening, the wonderful things the Lord was doing, they may develop a wrong impression about God. It was very clear the Lord did not come to heal all the sick people or even to liberate Israel from the Roman occupation. No. He came to heal the whole humanity, healing of a different kind. Give freedom to the whole humanity, freedom of a different kind. Today the question is, what is the kind of image you have, I have of God? A miracle worker, a Santa Claus God, who will answer all my prayers. Let us look at a few stories in the Bible. They will tell us who our God is. What is the image of God in the story of Joseph? in the Old Testament. The image of God in the story of Joseph. What is the image of God in the story of Job? The one who lost everything and one whose body was covered in sores. What is the image of God in the story of Job? What is the image of God in the story of those three Jewish men? Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego in the furnace of Nebuchadnezzar. What is the image of God? In all these, one thing is clear. God loves making gold out of clay. God loves making gold, pure gold, out of clay. He doesn't prevent anything. He allows things to happen, but he is right there in the midst. Along with Joseph, along with the job and with the three men in the furnace, the God is, our Lord is there. But he doesn't prevent. He allows things to happen and then he goes with them. I am with you. These things will happen, but I am with you. You are never alone. That's why in Psalm 91, shelter, 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 find your shelter under the Almighty. Make your shelter under the Almighty. Because He is your fortress, your shelter. He is your shelter. So be sheltered by the shepherd. One more Psalm, Psalm 46, 11. God is an ever-present help in time of need. 
Troubles will be there. Trials will be there. All kinds of confusing situations will be there. But in the midst of all the trials and tribulations, God is present. God is present in whatever circumstances I go through. He may not change anything, but he will be with me in those situations. And like Job, I can say, once this trial is over, I will come out as pure gold.